Welcome to my day trading setup. Now this setup will not improve your day trading. That means if you suck at day trading after watching this video, you will still suck. Uh, with that out of the way, let's go no further because the setup is right here. Yeah. Every great setup gonna need a big ass monitor and here's my two big ass monitor. Now you want your big ass monitor to be symmetrical. So that is why this are the same monitor. They are both 44 inches. 44 inches may be too big for some of you, but for some of you may be too small, but it's just the right size for me. Now I did not get the 49 inches because if I get the 49 inches in flat, that would be too wide. I understand I could get the 49 inches big ass monitor to be all curvy. And most of you out there probably want that but I'm Asian and we are men of different culture. Okay, that was a lie. The main reason is because I want my bottom monitor to be at a slightly tilted angle like this for better point of view. And if I do that with a curved big ass monitor, it will create the gap in between it. I don't have a curved monitor right now to demonstrate to you, but imagine this is the top monitor and this is the bottom monitor. Do you see that gap in between it? With a two flat monitor, even in a tilted position like this, you can create this seamless transition between the top and the bottom monitor. With the setup I have right now, I was able to place a top big ass monitor at my eye level, where I can cover the whole monitor without turning my head. And since the bottom monitor is at a slight angle, which create a perfect viewing angle for me. This two screen right here, I would say it is the best bang for the buck screen. If you look at any other monitor, it would cost you double the price. To mount the top monitor, I use the Wally mount, which found on Amazon. It is the cheapest mount out there that able to handle this heavy duty monitor. Compare that to something like an Ergotron would cost you like four times more. I know most of you are gonna be more interested in how I mount the bottom screen. It is much easier than you think because most of the weight can be supported by the desk already. So all you need to do is to find a mount that hold the monitor in place in a tilted position. So I just get this cheap mount from Amazon and just get the monitor to hang on to it. Now the problem will occur if you have a wire keyboard since you're gonna want your monitor to rest on the desk and the keyboard will create this imbalance in the monitor. Now this is where this bad boy come into play. This bad boy right here is a door stopper Dollar Tree. It's a multi-function door stopper. You just need to put this right underneath the monitor and voila, the problem is solved. Come up with the solution at the cheapest price. My industrial engineer degree didn't go to waste after all. Yeah. If you guys like the video so far, make sure you click the like and subscribe button. Would really appreciate it. Let's move on to the vertical monitor, shall we? This right here is 32 inch. Now you may wonder, do I really need another not so big ass monitor when I already have two big ass monitor? Um, no, not really but it certainly does uh, come in handy. Sometimes I use it as a mirror to make sure I still look good. Other time I use it for entertainment purposes. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. That's enough with the monitor. Let's move on to uh, my pride and invention. Yeah, this speaker right here. Do you guys see something similar to before? It's the same door stopper that I use for other one. Now you probably call me a cheap ass. Um, yeah, you may be right. Why don't I just buy a freaking speaker stand? Well, the speaker stand is cost like 30 bucks on Amazon for the cheapest one. So I use my industrial engineering degree to come up with the solution and solve the problem again with the SAM door stopper. I would say it gives the SAM or even better aesthetic than the one on Amazon. What you guys think? Doesn't matter. And this right here is a computer. Uh, pretty sure you guys already know that. Here are all the spec. Now the next item is a critical for day trading. I will not able to do my day trading without it, which is my mouse. And I actually have two of them. 
This mouse right here, I would say it is the best mouse for day trader. I tried many other mouse before. This mouse have great battery life, wireless, and it have bunch of buttons right here where I can assign my hotkey for day trading on there. The next item is the keyboard. I got this keyboard right here while I was traveling Vietnam. It's a HyperX keyboard. It's cost like $200 or something like that. I realized I got scammed in Vietnam because this keyboard cost 90 bucks on Amazon, not 200, but all in all, it's pretty worth it. This chair right here I got from Ikea. It does a fine job. It's no Herman Miller, but I able to sit on it for the whole day. And coming from me, that's mean a lot because I sit all day on this chair trading and editing video. And I guess Ikea realized that it's pretty good chair. They jack up the price because I got this for 175. Now it's like 250. This setup would not look as good if not thanks to all the lighting in the background. So I have one light bulb right behind my computer a goofy light right on top of the computer another light bulb right behind this not so big ass monitor it holding on to dear life by this painter tape typical cheap ass style and this are the demon poster it is a great anime but that's not the main reason i got this on my wall it is because i got six of them for a dollar at the liquidation place near me but i had to spend eight dollar for each frame because using the painter tape cheap ass style would not look this good the most critical item to this this setup is this table right here. I don't think the camera does the table justice because this table right here is huge. Just to show you guys how huge it is, it's 84 inches and that is not the maximum size. Since this table right here is made out of wood and just like other type of wood, it also can expand. Look at that. It can expand on both sides with this amount, 84 inch plus whatever this is on both sides. Even though the table is humongous, as you guys can see, it can barely fit my setup. Oh, and you may see a tissue here. It's not what you think. Um, this table will make out wood and just like your kind of wood, um, it does some have get wet from time to time and just need to wipe it off. I didn't get this table right here because of size. I'm not that type. This table right here is actually from Ikea. It would cost like five to $600, but I got it for 150 from Facebook Marketplace. That's the reason why. Some of you trader who are actually interested in my day trading layout, here it is. Here is what I actually have on my monitor. Here's basically the trading zone where I have both of my broker open. This is Tinkleswim and this is Cobra. And on the bottom right side of my screen, I would have Trey Idea layout. And on the corner of the screen, I would have my entertainment center where I watch my own video. And I was not kidding about the 32 inch monitor. It is just there. If you guys stay this long, thank you guys for watching the video. I really appreciate it. If you could help me click the like and subscribe button, I will try to do my best to create more content like this. You guys have a great day. Bye.